Ooh, okay, perfect. It's taken literally six minutes to load the game. Sounds great. Fine. So let's actually check with the camera then and check the camera because my wife was there. Yeah, well. Okay. So, what am I doing? Well, first thing, we go to here. It's a bit slow, slow it's a bit slow loading at the minute because it seems to be. I don't know what it's doing, but it seems to be ticking over something. It's actually written by some kind of like, uh, I don't know what that is, it's kind of clockwork uh, mechanism. Okay. So firstly, he won the last round. Great. So he, I don't actually think he attacked. Did he, or did he attack? I don't know what he's doing. I, I did look at it yesterday and thought about it briefly and then forgot about, oh that's what it's like my, i can see what's going on now because my computer just flicked up and said it's updating creative cloud so all of the adobe programs are deciding right now to update themselves which is awesome because photoshop is such a great program so you can see that he cleared all my defenses quite nicely but unfortunately for him now he's now sitting on board actually happened he did that bit just fine he's the best he's probably there i can check later on but over here he lost one fight against this, against this team, he lost one fight against this old Republic team, which I'm impressed by because that team is really not that good. It looks better on paper than it is, but it really isn't. And it's actually probably trying to get the right window, so no. There we go. And then on this one here, he actually lost multiple times to this team, which is really shocking because that's really not a good team. So I don't know, he must, I presume, after losing two fights at the top there, all the other fights, because that's what's had three, uh, six, nine. After the first 11 fights, then when he got to this one here, he just ran out of teams that were good and just threw whatever at it to be these guys, these Ewoks. So, unfortunately for him, came up short. But that's his problem. So, we are on to the second one. So, we are currently sitting join top four and if we can win this next one we'll definitely finish in the top the top bracket if we can win the next two we'll finish top so hopefully we can knock this out now we're finding well you see i, I wish we would just have an easy i mean is it supposed to be road zero or rudo I, I, it's got direct to credit anyway it's just as his uh avatar and he's got i think a quite beatable roster so he's got he's got some side different characters to the last guy we fought against. Um, he's got the Darth Revan here. He's got a very high level Darth Revan, so that's good for him. And he's got a good Geo Brood Arthur as well. But he doesn't have uh, he's got a very high level Papalu as well. Don't know why. Why we'd have a high level random Ewok, but like if you had all the Ewoks maybe high level, that'd be makes sense because they'd make a really fun team. <laughs> just one run. But having just one Ewok seems a bit pointless. He's only got five star markers though, so that's not that useful for him. So we should be okay for a relatively straightforward play. He's put some decent teams on defense. Different teams than the last one, which is good. I actually left the same defense because I was quite lazy and just forgot to do it. So you know. But we are uh, what we got here. Got a, well, a proper geo team and a decently level one. We've got bounty hunters. We've got actually a team that I just said was quite easy on defense, except for a slight change because he's got um, it's a Kandra's order rather than mission, um, which actually is a much easier thing to beat because mission works nicely with Salva like she does in the in the nice thing of Republic game. So they lose that synergy by doing that. And then he's got a similarish Padme team to me, but Barris Poppy rather than Kemal Kenobi's going to Kemal Kenobi. So I think it's a bit worse because. He has got an extra heal, so these two both heal, but Kenobi has the Torn, so that's much more useful, I think, in a three-man team. A three, three-person team, I should say. And he walks, but again, see, like I said, he's got he's got a, a really high-level Pablo, but then he's got a not even six-star Chief Chirpo. So I don't I don't really understand how that works anyway. And then he's got a kind of nice-looking team there. Darth Sion's quite nice with the Taunt. And you know, if you've got it fade out, I don't know which two abilities he's got maxed. I see he, he really wants that one maxed, but he 
you know, announce these two of the specials. That would be the one thing missing, potentially. But to cut a long story short, you should be able to do this quite straightforwardly. So what have I got? I've got almost the same thing because I left the same defense, I have almost the same characters on offense. So I think this team here is probably going to be the most difficult one because Padme is very, very good. That's why I use her in defense. That one is not really not going to be super trivial. Um, ooh, don't crash on me. No. Um, that one that one would be hard in five man, but in three man, I think I think three insect, I should say, then it's not actually as hard because they need the they need all five of them to work in, in unison, but three of them still wouldn't quite quite do it. Uh, I did around them. Okay, so we'll start the bottom because the bottom has got more points. These two these two territories here worth more points than these two. And because Padme is more difficult, uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely go for her. Let's just quickly check her speed because would you really want to do that fast? Yes, she's pretty fast. Um, it's kind of strong, but it's more the speed that's the issue. I must check how to get out as well. Because I need to be able to get out before they get out in this fight, so I can actually... Yeah, that's easy. He's not fast at all. So we'll use we'll use my Sith for this, because... Well, it's like slightly fun thing that I can use fear to scare... Oh, God, there they are there. I can use fear from Darth Revan and should I use Darth Mark? Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll do this properly and we'll just flatten them. Rather than just faffing around and possibly making a mistake. Let's actually just get it done properly. So Okay, cool. So I go first. Yeah, so we'll we'll give him fear. Means he can't take a turn now, and then we'll give her fear next. Oop. So the only disadvantage is that uh, Padme can't be scared, unfortunately, because um, she is immune to fear, just like she is in the film. Okay, so then I'll electrocute them all like that. Oh, I've been a bit annoying them. I'll just steal her health. She dead. And then just give her anarchy now. Be gone, and then oh yeah, we lost banners on him. That's pretty. That's how easy it can be fighting her with the right team. She's incredibly good defensively, except for the couple of weaknesses and one in Dark Revan. Easy. Okay, so I already know I'm going to use a loop on this. I think and just use Han and Chewie and just destroy them because. Um, well, quite, yes. Because <laughs> um, Darth Vader goes quite quickly first, and I need Han to go faster because Han Solo has got that cool ability from episode 4, which lets him shoot first at the start of any encounter, so much like he does with Greedo in the film, apparently. Um, so this should be quite straightforward. If one was if if it doesn't with if he had merciless mask maxed out that ability that he doesn't, then it would go terribly much either if we go first. So we're just gonna go him straight off because Okay, and then we'll just attack him. Oop. And then it's just a question of maintaining as much health as we can because I don't really want to lose any health. Oh, this, okay, this is much easier, but I always get taunt, that's annoying. This is much easier taunt's gonna be. Okay, can you stun him? Yeah, he's stunned. There we go, this is... Okay, yeah, there we go. Very easy once you get, once you know how to get rid of Darth Vader quite quickly. Because Vader, I mean, I don't know, I don't like to use Darth Vader on defense anyway, because the computer, the AI, even if he gets turns, is not that clever at using him, it seems to be... I'm not sure what to use on this because this team is not that strong, but I don't want to underestimate it because you know what we got. We got Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight Revan. We've got Jedi Training Ray. Got General Grievous. Got Shakti. Got the Emperor. Got um, Knights of the Beast. 
And then we start getting to a saw. Oh, we've got this history as well. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff. So it's a question of what to do. To do. Um, I kind of don't want to use one of the good teams for this. I, I feel like I want to save the good teams for the back row just in case he's got something hiding. Something really good hiding. Uh, but I don't want to use anything too, too, too average or too bad because if I do, he'll just, you know, we'll start losing magic and they'll get into some kind of slippery stuff where it'll just upset me. Okay, we'll, okay what was it? We'll use. Should we do. I'm trying to think. I, I'm, I'm torn between. Because I can use Jedi quite easily. The left up ones I've got, so I can use Ahsoka. No, not Ahsoka first. Actually, I put um, um, Basil first because she's got a good leadership ability. But then Ahsoka. And then. Oh, Luminar's got zero good offenses. I could use Ezra. And Star Wars Rebels. Yeah. We'll go with that. I mean, the good thing is with her lead, she gives us huge amounts of Terminator and protection at the start, so it's actually very hard for them to do damage to us because we've got such a big advantage already. And those three Ewoks, Ewoks are like Geonos, in that they really require... Let's look back in first. They really require um, all five of the Ewoks as a team to be there for it actually to be a useful team. I'm just going to plow through these if I can. Yeah, but, ah, because that's Ewok Elder. So Ewok Elder can bring people back to life and heal. See, they, they, they work as a, a unit there. If it's five, it actually, they do significant damage, but it's three, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll just get rid of that. Oh, still. Let's kill him. Okay, there we go. I'm dead. Okay, and then we'll. So he's got a, he's a defense character, he's a slight healer, he's a bit of a healer first. Yeah, that's fine. And you can see with all the, the purple, is all bonus uh, protection or shields. So, come on. Oh, I thought I was going to do way more damage than it did. So I was thinking that would be the end of the fight, but it didn't hardly any damage at all. Oh, he's, he's quite... um. Oh, I health this guy. She's should have checked him beforehand. Is that him? Yeah, no stone boost. He's yeah, he's he's getting there. Okay, no, that was quite. That was that's what, that's what I meant about. I needed to make sure I didn't underestimate them. But I didn't want to make sure that um. Yeah, good. good. Just checking sure my computer wasn't going to just keel over there because for a second when the screen starts thinking and. Ooh, my mouth and start stalling and the little spinny thing is spinning in the middle. I think it's just gonna just fall over. Okay. Who's he got? The other Ewoks? Yeah. First order, yeah. Shakti, yeah. Mod Martha. Kinda cool. Cause yeah, cause he's got Yeah, she's kinda cool. See really so this disappoints me quite a lot because i see this i see this so often when people just they can use mods to make the characters better but then they just don't even bother to put them in properly and yeah i mean see how slow that is just, oh that's disappointing like you have this character mod math miss one you, to get the two special abilities that takes like what, three weeks into four weeks maybe to get those two all leveled up if you're gonna put that kind of effort into leveling the character up, you may as well mod them correctly so that they don't they don't move like molasses, right? I mean, she's got almost no health and she's got just no speed, and you could easily mod that to be a coherent set to actually make her good. I mean, I shouldn't complain really. I'm playing against them and I'll kill them easily because of that. But it just is it's disappointing because it's it makes it far different. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I can, I can see that it's, I can see it's good for me, but it gets disappointing because, I mean, uh, let's have a look at one of my characters. Uh, yeah, doesn't matter which one because they're all just doing this properly to make sure they have all the synergy together so they're all linked together. Means you get way, way, way stronger characters than if you don't. I mean, it's just. I shouldn't be disappointed, but it just feels like such a waste 
to have characters that you spend time on and whatever and then you just don't bother to even use them properly it feels like people don't understand a whole part of the game when i see that and it's like wow because you can spend literally an hour a day fiddling with the mods leveling them taking the right ones for our characters all that kind of thing um Okay, see, so there, wait, boss, but even then it's, okay, even then, it's like, he's got good speed mod set, so a speed mod set is four sets and four for them to work as a set, but then the other two, he's got two non-matching mods, which make no sense at all, it's like, and yeah, because I mean, uh, he could be far stronger, that guy. I just, I don't know, it just makes no sense to just, I shouldn't have complained, I should just be, I should be happy, but it makes it easy for me, but I'm just, I guess if I'm going to play a game, I'm just going to do it properly or not, but we're going to use Jedi Training Ray, because Jedi Training Ray has two specific places she's useful, one is against First Order, and one is against Bounty Hunters, specifically Bosk, who's the lead here. The aim form is in a three-person team, or I was going to say three-man team, but even ignoring the fact that she's a woman, two droids as well, I don't know whether they're male or female. She's a bit less useful in a three-person team against Bounty Hunter specifically. She's still good against First Order either way, but these guys, she's a little bit less good because they don't get enough turns to resistance. And the attacks we knock 15 meter back and block them as well. Excellent. And then we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll hide everybody except BB-8. And then we'll try and take Boba Fett down. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Okay, he's lost his village, but I've got to watch out for that because I don't want him to do his special. Because his special, yeah, but it'll, it'll blow back again. Good. Um, we'll just walk through Boba Fett. I do dislike Dengar and his ridiculous, constantly invisible in the fights. Oh, nice stuff. I understand that too. Excellent. I love the fact that um, BB-8 has a counter-attack built in. And because of that, he... Oh, I can't... Oh, idiot. You can't, you can't go into stealth if Dengar is under stealth on the opponent team. Which has always annoyed me, but it's that's one of his moves. So I can't really complain. <sighs> Got to damage them with that. But the counter-attack... Okay, there should be now. I'm just trying to work out how we can, how we can maximize. Yeah, because he's just done that. There, he probably is straight away. How we can maximize our health so that we can get the most points out at the end. But it's always annoying with Dango because the second I hit Dango here, he's now gone invisible. There you go. Well, in fact, that, well, it depends. I have not seen the next series of The Mandalorian yet, but I know that he is supposed to be back in it, so maybe he's not so dead. Um, I mean, I remember actually, I'm like dredging my memory here. I remember that there's a book or comic that I don't think he's actually canon anymore, which shows that Boba Fett survived. But um, yeah, I do like that line actually in episode six <laughs> quite a lot. Um, bam! I love Ray. I love Ray. I mean, I'd love him more if I had the the legendary version of Ray, but this, you know, the epic version of Ray is still good. Yeah, no, well, Disney have. Um, it depends. I can understand if you can spend so much money on a product like Lucas, like Star Wars, then I can understand that they want to go through and clean everything up. And to be honest, in the past two years or so they brought some things back into canon so to speak i mean even in this game so this game is obviously from disney originally um and uh they have the loads and you know like i said before you've got people like jenna knight revan and darth revan who originally were no longer canon because they got removed by disney and then disney then brought them back in and said actually they are okay and the same with thrawn because thrawn technically where is he i've lost him oh no not magna guard My game just stopped. Really? Fine. I'll do it manually. I've lost 
Oh, there he is there. So that's Roar, of course, as well. Um, he was only in books, then he was no longer in canon, and then they brought him back in again and used him in Disney's Rebels. So, I mean, they do, they do seem to be bringing stuff back in that's progressively more from the original stuff that had been written, the comics, books, computer games, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, I can... It obsessed me a little because some of the bits were really, really cool. Some of the stories were really fun. Um, I guess I'm also a particular fan of episodes one to three in that time period specifically. So I guess I should be okay and happy with that because Disney pushed that quite a lot, that end, that bit with the Clone Wars TV series and so on. Um, but they could, yeah. He's, uh, as far as I know, he survived that. I need to watch the Mad Mod. I think it's the third episode today. I haven't seen any of it yet. Um, which is sad for me, I guess. Um, one second, I need to check. I need to focus for once. Just more to decide than what I'm doing. Okay, I see. It's, okay, this is a perfect example of what I literally was just saying. Geoffrey Alpha is a relatively new character. He's maybe six, nine months old, something like that. Um, He's a really, really, really good character. He makes the Geo team work perfectly, especially with his summon ability to bring it into the Geo, a fourth or sixth, depending if you're doing three man or five man, bring it into the Geo into the squad so you've got more characters than the opponent. However, he's modded it so badly that he's made him incredibly slow and not even that strong. And I'm like, why would you take the time then to collect the character if to farm him, which would take you weeks to months, to then just not bother? Okay, I mean, Jedi Rabbit. This is this is gonna be like some ridiculous walk up and fight because Jedi Rabbit could probably do this solo on his own, but I'm not gonna risk that because I want to just win. Um, just need to not rage about other people. Um, we should be fastest, we should have more health, and Yoda should just basically destroy them. I probably don't need Yoda actually, but we're gonna do this to be safe anyway. We're gonna do this properly. Um, I only faff around when I know I'm gonna win for sure. So yeah, if you summon the, the, that guy, that's great, but we're just going to, because we're faster than him, we can just take him down quite quickly. And then AoE is always the, the weak point of um, Genosis nowadays. Okay, we're just, I just, actually, I love some of these abilities, but eh, you do it. It's such a thing from Jolie from the computer game as well, where he just like, uh, someone else can do that. You could turn Jonah back to turn, get Yoda to attack again. So you can, the AoE is just wear them all down because they heal every turn, but as you can see, they heal back a bit each turn. But if you keep hitting them with the AoEs, it drains their whole the health pool. So it's like a slow, slightly slower, wearing them down. There he's gone. And then we'll take the taunting guy down. Gone. And then we'll take. It's, I gotta watch out for him a teeny bit because. When he's stealthed, he does massive damage. Um, so I have to watch out a teeny bit, but we should be, yeah, like that there. So we just, he took um, he took a whole bunch of health off Yoda there. So what I'm just gonna do is kind of just heal him back at least, like that. And that's probably the best I can do. Which 53, I think it is. Yeah, 53. That's not bad. I could have, should have watched out for the spy attack a little bit better, perhaps. But it helped with the taunt, maybe, rather than rather than just um, those three I used. But in three person, it's harder to get all the roles filled that you normally like to fill. Um, this team, I'm going to use the Empire because I need to use Shock in particular. Do that, do that way. And then we actually went for one. I was literally just talking about Thrawn, where is he? Where's my guy? I really need to level him. Thrawn is probably one of the best single characters in the game because you can fit into so many different teams. Um, so I love the new artwork on the Emperor. They reworked the Emperor's artwork maybe six weeks ago for the new Emperor that they released and that one looks pretty cool now. He used to look really, really ropey. Um, I think he was the second legendary character fight back at the start of the game. Um, so his artwork was a little bit dated. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we'll do our special. Oop. I'm gonna make Rogue one. So we'll just do the AoE. Then we'll see. That's not gonna be enough dots. And yeah, Darth Vader works far better in the 
you know, five mana, five opponents at a time rather than three opponents at a time, because he does a huge amount of damage with this bit. But Salva, you know what? You can do it. That was no one here. That was that was terrible. That was like wow. That was like unbelievably nowhere near the right amount of damage to do. Oops. Okay, that's fine. It's a cast. So they, those two do lots of AoEs. Stubborn. Yeah. That was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Completely did. I need to really level him up massively because he's really not strong enough. I need to get him to be um him. We need to get him to be uh bam. That time it worked. Like relic and properly like properly high level. But we lose again. Oh no, he's got taunt. Jerk. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh, I, mean, I hate you when people do things like that. We're just gonna wear him down. Fracture him again. Slowly. Okay, we're giving him at least. Bam. Alright. And then that, that means Empress should get. There we go, perfect. Everyone is full health and full protection. And now we just gotta. I can always just ruin this wall zone and let the computer do this to be honest. Because even the computer can't mess this up. But we're gonna go for the problem because it's professional. Right. Now this time he's got all these negative effects. This should definitely work this time. There we go. <laughs> Killed him this time. <laughs> I love the move to be honest. But. It's um, it's a bit silly when you do it and you completely fail like the first time. Just like scratching his hand, scratching his arm, like the, the, the Black Knight and uh, Monty Python. Um, I think that looks like it. As long as there's no hounds, too, so we'll be fine with chips. Yeah, geos, that's good. should be fine. Okay, so what we got here? We got. Let's finish the characters off. Switch to them. I probably I was thinking of doing Galactic Challenges as well, but I really can't be bothered. It actually took so long to load the game today. Just trying to waste time at the start out here, but let's just plow through these guys. Okay, so we're gonna need we've got Clams, we've got Sith, we've got General Grievous, so General Grievous starts off. Okay, we'll use we we'll use clowns on this because I like the clown too. There we go. Fives. So this should be pretty easy because Shakti can call to assist repeatedly. Uh, no question, why Wicked? There's Wicked. We just want to get rid of Wicked first because he does the most damage. Yeah, just assist him. Thank you. And then get him to assist with this one. Just constantly knocking them back. He's got the taunt off. Oh, he's just taking his taunt off. Okay, we will heal him back up again. Like that. Ah, nice. So he re hits Noel. I think it's it's something like every critical hit. Um, he gets a fifty percent chance of another hit or something like that. Um, it's along those lines. Come on! I wish my fives hit was hit stronger. I fives is one of my um um is one of my um special projects. I'm trying to think. There's a way of phrasing. I can't remember the word, but. Five is one of those where I really want to level him because he's such a cool character with his kit, but he's not useful for any specific legendary team or anything like that. Mm. I'm just trying to work out what to go for next. We've got okay, we've got okay, we've got stuff. Trying to work out which way to do this. That was too annoying a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Okay, because we've got General Grievous is really strong. He will crush whoever he fights. We've got Separatists and they will crush whoever they fight. And we've got we take Anakin Skywalker as well. Which way? Which way? Which way? Okay, we'll do we'll do Anakin on these guys, I think, because he can do. He can reduce total health with his basic attack. Echo. And he protects these two at the same time. And because one of them kind of okay, I need to get him to six star at least. But 
did so much effort and so many resources on it. I just don't want to do it. I'm kind of trying to use them for other stuff, but the same resources. Yeah, so he's got the permanent torch. Go ahead, you first. Um, oh, excellent. They're all dazed as well. So no counter attacks. Ideal. And then this should. There we go. That dispels all the positive effects as well. Oh, that's that's a nice when a plan comes together. Okay, let's get rid of him. Bam. I love the fact that I can hit slack twice. An echo hits an extra time for every time I can hit as well. There's an echo. Pew pew. I really should put the sound on. The sound's so close to the game. And he's dazed. He's got counter attack, but he can't attack because he's dazed too. No, no, don't take a knee. Kill him. Okay, get back up again, dude. Seriously, get the hell up. Oh, wow, I hate it when I think the down again. Oof. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Kill him. There we go. Nice. What? That doesn't supposed to be able to happen. When Anakin's standing up, you're not supposed to be able to. That's not fair. When Anakin's standing up, you're not supposed to be able to do damage to, to the um, to the uh, any of the clones. Damn it really not cool okay so which one is which I know so is this one it inflicts armor shred um, okay counter attacks counter attacks oof stun as well oh no <laughs> oh dear the fact that Anakin and Skywalker will lost that's disappointing to say the least Wow, I need to do better. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we'll get over that someday. Okay, well, you're gonna send it. I just want to send it like something super easy to finish that off. Wow, I need to. I would love to send it just one character who can just blow them away, but I don't think I've got one character who can. Yeah, exactly. I felt like um, Luke at the end of episode five when he finds out his father's Darth Vader. Or oh, when actually they actually do this quite a lot of times. Or oh, when Padme dies and and Anakin or Darth Vader, I should say, asks um, asks pa Palpatine, oh, "What about Padme?" He's like, "Oh no, she dies." Sorry about that. You'll get over it, though. I've been I've been my right hand guy. It's fine, except not right hand guy because he hasn't got a right hand, left hand. Um, okay. That's sad. Okay. <laughs> wow, definitely not doing like challenges now with that depression. Okay, we'll use General Grievous and blow these guys away because General Gre I should just send General Grievous actually against them because I know that Kylo Ren can be a little fiddly sometimes. <laughs> I love that. that one AOE from my relic um, B1 battle droid and they're almost all dead. Uh, anyway, again, yeah, yeah. Like General Grievous, he's so cool. That's which they explained him better in the films, actually, General Grievous. It's like, oh, here's this amazing guy who's a robot who has four arms and like 12 lightsabers in his back pocket. But we're never ever going to explain why he's here, who he is, or anything. We're just going to drop him in the film. Not so Dana do that too. Wow, okay, so that was straightforward. Then we'll use the remaining separatists. Oh. oh, actually, that's what I should do. I should use remaining separatists in here because what I can do is I can use a newt who has a second life. I can use, oops, itchy. I can use Django who's got two lives anyway. And I got my nest is okay as well. I need to enter this nest. Foster. How can you lose? character. Oh, there she is. And then for nest is pretty cool for these situations because she has stacking health and protection. You can, if I'm rarely, use nest solo to beat um, first order if. Um, <laughs> should have done that first time. <laughs> we didn't need any other characters. 
<laughs> well, well, there you go. That was uh, significantly easier than I thought it was going to be. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to do the next fight. <laughs> I did not think that was going to that was going to be quite that easy. Um, we were sending the Sith trio for the last fight. I need to load some of these other teams up as well. Uh, lost Star Scion. Thanks. Hiding. Bam. Did not see that coming. Oh, he's a haircut. Okay, so. I forget which one of these is more annoying, Bigs or White. I can't target her. She needs to be floating as well, actually. Let's see if we beat her. You know, this game has made like a billion dollars. And they still can't make a game without a bug in it. Okay, we'll isolate. No, it shouldn't matter. We'll isolate him and we'll give this uh, bonus protection to him. And then we'll give them more pain. Yep. Nice. And then we'll also take their cooldowns. Yep. Easy. And then we'll just, yeah. We'll just try and um, it pretty much just did these. I mean, I was, you know, <laughs> it's um, it was definitely unexpected to be quite that easy. I thought it was going to take because, especially because the guys before struggled so much to do any damage, <laughs> and then to send in one character and just literally obliterates them. I mean, Jack. I mean, let's be honest about it though. Um, Kill him. Okay. Um, because what's his name? Django Fed, of course, is the model template of the whole of the clone army. So I suppose he must be an awesome character, soldier, character type. Um, but help my hatred. And then, yeah, they die, they die instantly <laughs> because my mouth can't possibly be without anybody else. Um, yeah, Django Fed is the template for all clones in the clone army, so I suppose he should be a decent character. He must be pretty strong, I guess. But um, it's funny, actually, I can, I can see the bottom here. The raid that's going on in my alliance has been run through in the background really easily whilst I'm not watching. So that's, that's fun. Um, Already done my damage for that, so it's not a big issue. I'm gonna use Ahsoka. I use basically the same chips all the time because I'm terrible at chips, so I learned the ability to just a few of them. I don't, I don't actually ever want to ever use any other chips because if I have to, I'll be in trouble. Oh, uh, which will we'll use this when I need bottom because I hand when I need them. I think I got the right one, haven't I? Yeah, that's hand when I need bottom. Don't want to use the ray when I need bottom or the land when I need bottom because. Yeah, the game has too many Millennium Falcons. Especially when they all look different shapes, because in each film they decided to make the ships different, so why not make them different in the game too? I guess. Come yeah, on, game. You can do this. You can you can load. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, okay, okay, one guy's complaining. Uh, to, sorry, apologizing because he must have half obliterated the raid, which is why I just ran through a whole bunch of it. Um, here we, yeah. But my shit battles are super boring though, because I do literally use the same characters all the time. Hound's Tooth, always the tank, always does, always protects everybody else, always use a, a not Akbar ship, always use these two because they're my best two other ships. And then always have the same. Um, come on, kill him. Then always have the same, at least two reinforcements because it makes sense to have the same two reinforcements because of. Wow, I love the fact that Hans is literally just sitting here just laughing. Like he's still got loads of health. Like they've been hitting pretty much constantly on him. And he's just going, yeah, not today. Okay, come on, back to this guy. Him. And again, 
just do that because that's basically general heal for my team. I mean, I should be put the sound effect on, but the sound effects are cool. But I can never seem to get the volume right, and then it just ends up being massively blowing one's ears out. So I try not to too much. Um, but you do get the nice sound effects of like the Star Destroyers and so on, the lightsabers, which I definitely kind of did impression of. Come on. Okay, he dead. Oh, he's stealthed. Jerk. Um, actually, we'll send it down. I don't use him very often, so let's actually just do this, because why not? And then, oh, I forgot his moves too. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the first one. That, like the kind of wiggle that he does in, um, you know, the slightly, that, that whole hilarious joke in Family Guy was like, oh, look at that guy, he's got some moves. He's moving slightly to the left. Um, I guess it's supposed to be a bit like that. Give him the top back. Run and move and. No, it's good. Just don't look at what your tacky is doing. And we've got our ultimate. We'll, so we'll just do that. Get that easy in this fight because basically the ultimate gives us the chance to do. Bam! All our specials again. There we go. Millions of points. Well, 63. Close to millions. It's all done. Okay. So I'm still, so just like last time, I'm a bit disappointed that I managed to throw one fight away. That was a bit, that was a bit stupid. But in fact, is that the same score as last time exactly? Two eighty three, wasn't it? Okay, now we we did six points worse. In fact, wow, we just we even did worse this time around. That's even more disappointing. Wow. Okay. But um, my main thing is, is that we won. Oh, we can win. No, the main thing is we cleared them, so we can win. We haven't won yet. We will wait and see if we win. I mean, he has got a pretty good roster, though, of attacking character left. We look at what he's got left. Because he's got... Yeah, he's got both Revens. He's Padman already. He's got Luke, but only a G G G12 Luke. Yeah, I mean... I feel like he's going to struggle after the first three teams he uses. Because I mean, these guys were all on defense, for example. But, you know, we've got to hope and see. Right then. So it's been far too long already, partially because of my computer being a jerk. Because um, I was going to do. Where is it? Oh, everything takes forever, my computer. I was going to do Galactic Challenges because they're only Friday till Monday. But I might just do that on Sunday night instead. Um, the cool thing about these, of course, is they give shards of, uh, oh, I don't know, you pronounce them, Cooley, Quill, Quill, it is Quill, isn't it? Yeah, Quill, um, who's just literally just come out with the Mandalorian series. However, not today, because it's Friday night and it's already been too long. So I will say thank you very much for watching. Um, or uh, if you watch it later on, thank you for watching later on and we'll hopefully both be celebrating yet another exciting victory which would be the fifth in a row if we did win um and hopefully we'll have some more fun on sunday and uh and win the whole thing but i guess until then uh, have a good evening and i'll catch you